Hi, I'm Mike, founder of GoodBed.com. Today we're gonna to take you through the full lineup of mattresses from a company called Puffy. Now, as you may know, Puffy likes to say that sleeping on their mattresses is like sleeping on a cloud. But we're gonna show you what's actually in all three of these mattresses and give you a little sense of what the differences are and what changes as you move up through this lineup. We're excited to show it to you, stick around. Okay, so before we get into the specific uh, construction characteristics or other attributes of these three models, let's talk a bit about what they all have in common. And the first thing that I would point to is that they all use a layer of very soft gel memory foam right up at the top of the mattress, meaning it's the very top layer right beneath the cover in each case. And uh, this, is, this is really uh, a material that gives these mattress is not only a feel that's common across them, but it's also kind of the signature puffy feel that they've always had. Uh, all the puffy mattresses since they started have really sh had that characteristic. Now I will note that if you've seen our coverage of puffy mattresses in the past, they used to use a gel memory foam that was much slower to recover. Uh, this memory foam that they're using today is a much quicker responding foam, but nonetheless has that softness that again, I think is the core to the signature puffy feel. The second characteristic they all have in common is just from a construction standpoint, none of these are quilted. They're all unquilted mattresses. They use uh, a smooth top design with a stretch cover just like this one. The cover is uh, differ just a little bit. There's two designs in the line, but nonetheless, they're all consistent in that particular uh, way. Uh, sticking on the cover for a moment, another characteristic that's common across all of them is that the covers are uh, removable and hand washable. And likewise, from an aesthetic standpoint, they all have a gray side panel at the foot of the mattress and otherwise are all white. Uh, the last characteristic that they all have in common that I'll mention here is that they are all adjustable base compatible, meaning you can use them on an adjustable base, which we of course tested uh, and, and they did very well. Now, the, the company also mentions that they have a grip bottom on the cover of each of these models. Uh, I will say that I felt the grip bottom, it feels to me like you know, most other mattresses we test with a removable cover, so I'm not sure what is unique about that, but nonetheless, again, they did quite well on the adjustable base test. All right, so now let's dive into the details of the entry-level model in this collection, the original Puffy mattress, or what you may just see marketed as the Puffy mattress. Uh, and as you can see here, it's a 10-inch all-foam mattress with three total layers of foam. The top layer is a two inch layer of what they call cooling cloud foam. It's a two and a half pound density gel memory foam that as I mentioned previously is very soft. That's kind of a, a signature characteristic. Um, you can also see here um, very quick responding as memory foam goes. In fact, the memory foam in the actual mattress is, that, is even quicker than in this cutaway uh, demo. Uh, but nonetheless, you can see here, even this is quicker than average to respond. Um, very soft here. Then you have a two inch transition layer that they call climate comfort. Uh, and this, this is basically a gel foam. In this cutaway, it looks to be uh, like it's a memory foam. It's, it's not in, in the actual mattress. Uh, but nonetheless, you, you can see here that this gives you a visual representation of how, how thick that layer is. It's, it's meant to just sort of ease the transition from this very soft layer of foam on top to the base foam, which is a six inch poly foam base that is very firm. Uh, this is even, even as base foams go, I would say the base foam used in these puppy mattresses is quite firm. So it does give the mattress a lot of uh, good underlying support. And you really do rely on this transition layer to provide uh, sort of uh, to fill that gap between the soft and the firm there. So it plays an important role. Uh, that's really just the, the materials and the construction of this 10 inch puffy mattress. Now, in terms of what your experience on this mattress is going to be, we would characterize the overall softness of this mattress as a medium on our softness spectrum. Uh, and the way they achieve that in this case is exactly through the dynamics I just described, where it's kind of the blend of that very firm base layer with that very soft upper layer, and then the transition layer kind of uh, helping ease the balance in between that overall blends out to just about a straight up medium on our softness spectrum. Uh, not all mattresses get to straight up medium the same way, so relevant to kind of understand that. Um, and then as far as the cushioning depth goes, I think it, likewise that same combination 
tends to lead you to something right in the middle of our spectrum in terms of the sleeping on it versus sleeping in it. You're going to get kind of the blend of both the uh, floating above your mattress sensation as well as a little bit of that hugged and cradled sensation uh, right in the middle of, of that one as well. From the memory feel standpoint, you are going to get just a little bit more memory feel than average, recognizing that most mattresses today contain at least some memory foam. So, so average amount of memory foam uh, across all mattresses is or some memory feel. And this one has two inches. It happens to be right up at the top. It is rather quick uh, recovery memory foam, which lessens to a degree the memory feel so to speak. So overall, we, we rate it like sort of just a little bit more than uh, average amount of memory feel. And as for bounce, no bounce whatsoever to speak of in this uh, puffy original mattress. A few other characteristics we looked at. Uh, edge support was actually uh, very good overall, although much better when you're lying on the mattress than when you're sitting on the edge. And repositioning on this mattress uh, we found to also be very good, very easy. Uh, so I don't think many people are going to have a problem on this mattress with that, particularly for a mattress that has a couple inches of memory foam right up at the top. And then the last thing I would add is motion isolation. We also found to be excellent on this mattress. All right, so now we've stepped up to the Puffy Lux, or the Puffy Lux Hybrid, as you may see it called, uh, which is the second model in the collection, and maybe it's most popular. Um, now, what we have here is a cutaway of what's in this mattress. However, this again is not 100% accurate, so we're really just going to use it more for illustrative purposes. But obviously, the first thing that jumps out at you if you look at this is the use of coils here, because this is, in fact, a spring mattress hence the name hybrid. Um, and so what these here are, are pocketed coils, six inches tall. Uh, you have about 550 or so count in a queen size. Um, they use about a 13 three quarter gauge wire um, and they have uh, one inch of base foam underneath them as you're gonna find in pretty much any pocketed coil mattress just to give the coils something to rest on. So that's really where your underlying support here in the mattress is coming from. You'll also notice that these here, these blocks of foam about three inches thick, these foam rails, uh, that's foam encasement. So that's where the edge support in this uh, mattress is coming from as opposed to um, what you sometimes see is uh, just firmer coils going around the perimeter of the mattress. Okay, so that's the support layer. Now, moving up to the top of the mattress, you do have the same gel memory foam uh, that we just showed you in the Puffy original at the top of this. Instead of the two inch layer, which is actually looks about what is shown here, it's a one and a half inch layer of that gel memory foam up at the top of the Puffy Lux. Uh, and then below that, you have a one and a half inch layer of another gel memory foam. Uh, so the, the, it is a pretty similar, not quite as soft, uh, but still very soft gel memory foam that is uh, forming that second layer. And that's really the, the biggest uh, uh, thing that's added in the upper part of the Lux design. Obviously the biggest thing happening down here is the switch to coils. Uh, and then you have again a two inch transition layer that does kind of again ease the gap between the softness of these pressure leaving comfort materials up top and the firmness of the underlying support layer down below. Okay, so now let's switch gears to talk a little bit about what your experience is going to be with the Puffy Lux Hybrid. Starting with softness, we characterize this one as a medium soft on our softness spectrum. And really the key difference here from the Puffy is of course the addition of that ad an another layer, another inch of, in effect of soft memory foam up at the top of this mattress. So. Uh, you have to get a little deeper into this mattress before you start to find the firmer layers either in the transition or in the support layers. That gives it just a little bit more softness overall, uh, bringing it to medium soft on our softness spectrum. It also gives it a little bit more cushioning depth. So this falls uh, really more at what we would call deeper cushioning. So uh, not the deepest, but certainly uh, more of that sleeping in your mattress, more of that hugged or cradled sensation uh, than the average mattress, as well as than what you get on the original Puffy. Uh, and then of course, in terms of memory feel, because you have a little bit more memory foam, you definitely are going to get a little bit more of that memory feel. Although still just like a little bit more than average on account of the fact that both of these memory foams are still pretty quick recovery. So it's gonna um, mute a little bit some of that slow melting sensation that you might think of when you think of a memory foam mattress or a memory foam hybrid like this one. 
Uh, and then lastly, bounce. Uh, you're certainly with the springs, with the addition of the springs, going to get uh, quite a bit of deep bounce. Uh, offset a little bit by the memory foam at the top, but that's still going to net out to more than average bounce on this mattress. In terms of some other characteristics, we looked at edge support again. Uh, this was again very good at edge support, but just like the Puffy original, uh, it's going to be much better lying on the edge than it is sitting on the edge. Uh, we found it to be similarly very good for repositioning, uh, not likely to be a big problem. Again, benefited in that case by the quicker recovery memory foam. And likewise, we found it to be again, excellent with motion isolation, as well as with adjustable base compatibility. All right, so now we've moved up to the top of the line within this Puffy collection, the Puffy Royal Hybrid. This is obviously the tallest mattress of the three. Uh, I should have mentioned that uh, in each case, two inches are added so it goes from 10 inches with the original to 12 with the Lux to 14 inches here with the Royal uh, and as you can see you're adding layers as well now you still have the same support unit that we showed you with the Lux hybrid uh, with the pocketed coils uh, providing the support for the mattress as well as the foam encasement providing the edge support and then up at the top of the mattress you're again going to find a pretty similar construction to what we saw on the Lux hybrid uh, again this is just an illustrative cutaway but in reality what you're going to have here is a one and a half inch layer of uh, that of very soft gel memory foam at the top and then again another one and a half inch layer of a different very soft gel memory foam and then below that you're you're again going to have a two inch transition layer of firmer poly foam and then below the that transition layer in the case of the royal is something new that you that we haven't seen on the other puffy models uh, it's a layer they call air comfort technology so it's it's essentially another transition layer however uh, it's adding a few different things, both at airflow as well as zone support to the mattress. Uh, let me show you how it looks. We've got uh, a, a, just a sample of this layer here. And as you can see, what they've done here is they've essentially carved uh, a cloud pattern into the mattress or uh, probably with the, with the mold that they use to make this foam. Um, but what you can see here is that there are these uh, channels that go the entire width of the mattress where air can flow uh, all the way across the mattress. And, and, and that should enable heat to more effectively escape the mattress. So that should add some cooling capability to the mattress. And then, as I mentioned, the zoning, um, they've, they've, by differentiating the cloud pattern underneath uh, what would you'd find underneath your shoulders versus what you'd find underneath the heaviest part of your body, which for all of us is our hips, uh, they've enabled your, uh, the, this particular layer of foam to be a little bit more supportive underneath your hips. And the way they've done that is by using this tighter cloud pattern underneath your hips, whereas there's this bigger cloud pattern underneath your shoulders. So now turning to what your experience is going to be on the Puffy Royal Hybrid. Um, in general, there's going to be a lot of similarities to the, the Lux Hybrid, uh, but maybe just taking it kind of to the next level in each of these cases. So for example, with softness, you're going to find it's still a medium soft on our softness spectrum. However, it is just a smidge softer within that classification. Uh, and that's really on account of the this, this addition of this layer, which, which just separates you a little bit more from the real firmness which is coming from the coil support unit uh, but not enough to make a huge difference just a subtle difference in the softness and likewise a subtle difference in the amount of cushioning depth and conformance you're going to get just a smidge more of that hugged or cradled sensation for much the same reason just this this layer here allowing a little bit more of that than when you don't have that layer in the mattress. Uh, in terms of memory fill, that's gonna be very consistent with what you had on the Puppy Lux Hybrid. Uh, you're gonna have uh, sort of a more than average memory feel, uh, muted just to, a just to a small degree by the quick recovery nature of the memory foam used in these mattresses. Uh, and then as far as bounce goes, you're gonna get a pretty similar amount of bounce, but if anything, a little bit less overall bounce on account of the fact that you have more uh, foam layers above the, the layer where the real bounce is coming from, which is these, this coil layer. Now, in terms of some of the other characteristics we've talked about, uh, edge support is going to be not as good on this model. And that again has to do with the fact that you just have more layers of foam, which uh, are in between you, the sleeper, and where the edge support is coming from, which is really down here in the mattress. Uh, it's still, however, good overall uh, with again, a pretty, um, uh, notable differentiation between lying on the mattress versus sitting on the edge. Uh, as far as repositioning goes, 
I would say here, again, not quite as good as the others uh, for the same reasons that we've been discussing. However, still good. And uh, as it relates to motion isolation, absolutely excellent on this mattress and adjustable base compatibility we also found to be excellent. So there you have it. We hope you found this to be a helpful overview of the complete lineup of mattresses from Puffy. Now, one thing we deliberately did not get into in this video is prices. And that is because particularly in today's environment, they are subject to change. So we recommend that you go to goodbed.com and search for Puffy to make sure that you're getting not only the current prices, but also the best available discounts on these products. While you're on Goodbed, we highly recommend taking the Goodbed Mattress Match Quiz, which is very unique relative to anything else you'll find in your mattress shopping search. Uh, it is by far the most sophisticated, objective, and in-depth mattress match quiz out there on the market. And it will help you take a full inventory of your personal needs, preferences, and priorities. And ultimately, will help you determine whether one of these puffy mattresses that we showed you today is the right mattress for you. So we highly recommend that as a key step for any mattress shopper. But in the meantime, we thank you for watching and we really hope you sleep well. Thank you.